All right, guys, today we're at my shop. I just bought a new cab. It's not for my truck, though. Dusty's gone for a couple weeks on a snowmill trip, and I figured I'd stay busy with building the chassis. So I'm going to build a chassis and then just try to sell it. So we'll see how she goes. I've got the cab pretty cleaned up. I still need to do some finish work and then just clean everything up a little bit. Next step is laying it out. I got the truck laid out, I think the way I want to do it here. I got the front of the truck there, center of the axle. This is where my upright slash windshield bar will be. This indicates the center of my cradle. So the inside diameter of my cradle. This is where my halo bar will start. Back here is where my axle will be centered and then this will be the back of the truck. So a little bit worried on this, but all you gotta do, or all you can do is do it. So I'm gonna grab a piece of pipe and start running it. What is she doing? <laughs> Made a mistake on literally the first thing. So I think that that was like that. Turn and then return. Screwed. Hmm. It can be like that sometimes. I gotta get a pin in there so it doesn't do that again. Alright, thank you. Second time around, frame rail turned out perfect. I got my desired length in here. You can see the tape measure. That's gonna be where my cab will sit. There's my halo, there's my upright. Perfectly what I want. Now I just gotta duplicate that and not mess it up. All right, I got the other two bent and perfectly together. Those are right there within a 16th, which it's gonna be perfect. And these are perfect. Very happy with how it turned out. Now I gotta make some use for the cradle and then I'll make the ones under the frame. All right, the camera died on me last night when I was bending these U's up, but here they are. Pretty dang good fit. Next thing I got to do is I cut out six of these bars that go in between the truck, like center bars. So I'm gonna get all those coped and ready for when we can stand this truck up and get it all screwed up. Now that I got that done, the next step is I got six of these cut. I'm gonna do two in the front, two in the back, two in the middle, stand this thing up on the table, get it all squared up, get it tacked together, and then once it's lower frame is put together, then I'll put it on the floor, set the cab over it, and I'll start building my cage to the, to the cab. I wanted to get, show you guys here what I got going on. I kinda got everything ratchet strapped together. Nothing's tacked in yet, none of these center bars yet. I took the orange square around and everything is pretty dang square. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna start tacking these on the bottom and then squaring these ones up. And then these ones will just get tacked in and then, you know, tack the other side and start to weld it out. But she's looking good. Pretty happy with it so far. Need a bigger table though. 
is to make these pieces. I already tacked these ones on. We go from here down to here. There's lots of grinding and lots of prep work, so you can see me put them on, but not the prep work. This is our finished product for our shock hoop system. Turned out well. Got the other side done. Just gotta get it up after this one. She'll be good to go. We'll put it in that tier for the shocks and then we'll work on the back shock hoop system. I got about another weekend on this thing and it should be done. Chassis anyway. Depends if we go further with it or just sell it or what. So. This is kind of how Dusty does his swing arm setups. He just comes from here, gives her a little bend like so. Different way of doing a shock system, so get after it. Almost forgot my safety glasses. I got the first side done. It's looking pretty good. Meeting up to those other tubes. Now let's see if I can copy it. All right, I duplicated the other side and it turned out pretty good. Now I just got to take it back on the table, cope everything out, and then get her welded in. Guys, finally got the last piece welded in for now. I got a couple more pieces that I still need to put in. You can see this one sits a little bit higher on the left side. So I wanna redo that piece there. And then uh, here in the back, I'm gonna make some disconnects. So I'm gonna put a disconnect here and then a disconnect at the top on each side. And then that way you can still pull your motor out from the top, or if you wanna pull it out from the side, either way it'll come out, so. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I know we haven't been posting much, but uh, this summer I got some big plans, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.